What's going on, X Factor family? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another bang. This one right here is going to be a leg and arm workout. Yes, I said it, legs and arms. You do not always have to stick to a bro split. You don't always have to chain chest and tries, back and buys. You can switch things up. Right here in this workout, I'm focused on building up that lower body. And at the same time, I want to get some arm work. I want to build those biceps. I want to get some crazy triceps, those horseshoe triceps. All right. So I need you guys to lock in, pay attention to the details, the tricks, the tips, everything I'm giving you in this video is going to be beneficial for your next workout. So keep it locked. All right, guys, so what I like to focus on when I'm doing my leg extensions is actually placing my back all the way on the seat. That's going to make sure that you are really using this machine properly. All right, I, I see a lot of people leaning forward. I see a lot of people leaning back with their butt up. No, you want to make sure your butt is all the way back on the seat. Look at the directions on the actual machines. It's going to tell you exactly how to sit down, how to use the machine. If you aren't using the machine correctly, you probably won't get the best activation in your leg or body that you need. So this right here, focus on the quads. I'm doing single leg to start off with just to warm up the knees, warm up the quads, and then I start going a little heavier. Same thing goes when I'm doing my tricep dips. This is a dip machine. I really, really love this machine simply because you still sit back all the way on the seat and you just get a better contraction at the bottom of the movement, being able to press down all the way, get that full contraction in your tricep. Normally when you're doing body weight dips, you get a little fatigued early and it's hard to add more resistance unless you, you know, have a weight belt or, you know, a weight vest or something like that. So I really love this dip machine. Again, sitting all the way back, trying to keep my elbows locked into my side and straight pressing down, up, down, just like that, smooth. I normally use the whole stack on this, not to brag or anything, but uh, this machine is fairly light for me. Not sure for you, but it really doesn't matter. As long as you're getting that contraction, it doesn't matter what kind of weight you're doing. Just make sure you're pushing yourself all the way to the limit. All right, let me show you guys what I'm using for my pre-workout in today's workout. This right here is your C4 Ultimate, all right? This is the non-carbonated. You might have seen me drink the energy drinks that are carbonated. These right here, just like juice, all right? Still zero sugar. It's giving you 200 milligrams of caffeine, y'all. This is four o'clock in the morning for me, really getting it in. This right here is helping me push, and I'm not even lying to you, all right? It gives me a little bit of jitters, which is what I want. I want to be in here tweaking up a little bit, all right? This what's allowing me to actually push my hardest and just never quit, all right? So that's why I like the C4 Ultimate right here, whether it's the non-carbonated like this or whether it's the C4 Energy drinks that are carbonated. I like both, but on today's workout, we're doing non-carbonated. This is the Icy Blue Raz right here.
right, guys. So notice the equipment that I'm using right here doing these split squats. So normally you will see a split squat performed with a bench, placing your back foot on the bench. Notice how my foot is hanging on the other side of the pad. This is extremely comfortable. This is an easier way to do your split squats to just make it feel better. This is an awkward exercise, but it works. I promise you that. So notice also how my legs are closer together. By placing them closer together, I'm more focused on the quadricep development. Now, if I wanted to pull my front leg out a little more and lean forward, then I'll start activating the hamstrings and the glutes a little more. But no matter what, when you train your lower body, when you do a lower body exercise, your full lower body is going to be activated. It's going to wake up. But again, we're primarily focused on our quadriceps, which is why I'm having my front foot placed closer to the platform. Also, let me add that you can use dumbbells for this exercise. You do not have to use a bar and place them on your back. You can actually use dumbbells. All right, guys, so it is very rare that you'll see me using a bar when I'm doing some curls. And that's simply because I'm not sure if my left arm is working more or my right arm is working more. So I, I normally gear towards using dumbbells just so I can isolate each arm and make sure they're both working so I have no muscle imbalances. But on this day, on this workout right here, I decided to use the easy bar just to move a little more, just to actually cut down the time. Because if I was to curl each arm by itself, it's going to extend the duration that we're actually doing the curls. All right, so here is my favorite exercise when I'm training hamstrings. I love the lying leg curl. You want to focus and make sure that you're actually placing your pelvis on the actual machine itself. All right, we don't want to be lifting our butt in the air. You can actually arch your back just a little more so you can make sure that you're driving your pelvis into the machine. And that's gonna just ensure that you're actually working those hamstrings. This exercise is not hard, it's not difficult, but you can perform it wrong. And if you do perform it wrong, you will not really develop those hamstrings as you desire. So make sure that you're focused on keeping that pelvis tucked right there on the machine itself. All right, so folks, if we want to actually have those triceps busting through our shirts, if we want to actually fill our sleeves, we need to make sure that we're focused on the rope press down. So when we're pulling down, we want to open up the rope. You want to make sure you keep your elbows locked to your side. You really want to focus on leaning forward as well, as you can see that slight lean that I have. This is going to ensure that you are truly, truly working those triceps. All right, guys, so we have hit our last and final exercise of this workout, and it's going to be single arm bicep curls using the machine. So this is seated. So right here, my tricep is actually locked in place on the actual machine itself. And I'm really just focused on keeping that supinated position and really just squeezing at the top of the movement, squeezing that bicep, making sure I develop that peak. So again, you want to focus on curls when we're trying to grow the biceps. I can't stress that enough. I love doing curls. I love isolating doing single arm. As you saw earlier, I did the easy bar, which allowed me to use both arms at the same time. But hey, it's always good to isolate each arm, really focus on developing and not getting any muscle imbalances. All right, guys, that is it for this workout. I didn't want to make this video super long, so I just jumped in here with some quick tips, quick tricks in order for you to really develop those arms as well as develop that lower body. It's okay to train arms and legs at the same time. Don't think you have to stick to some bro split where you do back and buys, chest and tries. I do that as well, but every now and then, I just switch things up. Here, I'm focused on legs, and I'm also focused on the arms. If the details and the tips and tricks were not good enough for you guys, I need you guys to comment down below. Let me know if you need more information. Hey, I need you guys to watch some extra videos that I have for you guys. Really lock into the channel. I need you to subscribe if you have not subscribed already. I'm coming with more bangers like this where I'm giving the commentary and really talking to you guys. I'm going to catch you in the next one.